All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about detailing our Tesla or any other vehicle for that matter. But before we get started, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the channel so that you can be notified later for other videos that pertain to these topics. All right, without any further delay, let's get into it. So there's certain tools and products that we need to get this done effectively. So let's start at the top. First thing we wanna do is pre-wash our car. So we spray it down front to back and we try to get all those large particles of dirt off again so that anything we do after this, we're trying not to drag those dirt particles up and down the paint leading to marring and scratching. So we do a real nice pre-rinse. Then we come back right after that and we're gonna do a foam cannon. Man, this is just fun to do. It works pretty good too, and uh, it's, it's cool to look at. So the product we're using in here is Adam's Mega Foam. That makes a nice, thick, shaving cream looking foam. It helps break down the dirt, it runs off the car, and it also provides a nice soapy surface for us to work with. So once we got the car completely soaped up, then we're gonna do what um, in the industry is called the two bucket method. Uh, some people say, oh, you really don't need it, but you know what? It's one more bucket, five more minutes of our time, and it does have some value. So the idea behind the two bucket method is you have a wash bucket with a grit guard and a rinse bucket with a grit guard. So we would be washing the car down with a freshly soaped up wash mitt. We flip it over again. We don't want to be dragging dirt up and down the paint. Then when we're done, we come in, agitate the wash mitt, against the grit guard, it all falls down below the grit guard. Now, when we dip back into the wash bucket again, theoretically, we've got most of the grit off of this uh, wash mitt and we're pretty back to, to brand new again. We do the same thing, small applications, flip the mitt, small applications, grind it off, back into the wash bucket again. And once we're done with that, we're gonna be using this very, very soft bristle brush. You can see that this large surface area just doesn't get around emblems good or down inside tight areas. So we come in with this guy, get those detailed areas and those small cracks around the, the gas filler cap or, or door handles or all your emblems, it works awesome. And the chemical we're gonna be using to do this is Adam's Car Shampoo. It smells great. And it lasts forever. I've been washing my car for months and I've only used a couple inches. So that's about it. Uh, once we got the full soaping done, the washing done, all that stuff, we come back again with the pressure washer. We get all that soap off, every single bit of it. We want to be careful when we're doing this, especially if we're in the baking sun, which I don't recommend. But if you are, we want to get it washed, rinsed, and get it drying as quick as possible. The last thing we want is the water or soap drying onto the paint. All right, so without any more delay, let's get out there and get washing, yeah. We'll start by putting some Adam's car shampoo in our wash bucket. It doesn't take much. Wow, look at those suds. Then we'll fill our rinse bucket as well. Then we'll put some Adam's mega foam into the foam cannon. A few ounces is plenty. If you find yourself shooting water all over the place trying to fill the foam cannon bottle, try dipping it into the rinse bucket. Now we'll put the foam cannon together and have it ready for later. This wall mounted pressure washer system is awesome. All right, so now we're gonna start the pre-wash rinse. This is a very important step. This is our opportunity to remove as much contamination as we possibly can without any risk to damaging the paint. Don't forget to get inside those wheel wells and get all that dirt out of there. Use good judgment based on the equipment that you have to wash your car. My pressure washer has a 40 degree nozzle, produces 1000 PSI, you can actually put your hand in front of it without any pain to your skin. You gotta really be careful. You see some people out there using a gas pressure washer, 3000 PSI, very narrow 20 degree tip. Man, you can just turn your paint straight to mincemeat. I'll put a link above and a link in the description so that you can check out my pressure washer setup if you want to. Keep making your way around the car, trying to get as much of that dirt and grime off as you can. 
Oftentimes on the front of the car, you'll find dry, stuck bugs all over the paint. Take a few passes, get them wet, get them loosened up, and they should come right off. It'll be worth it later. The protectant that we'll be using while we dry the car is really going to help next time. Those bugs will just melt right off. Alright, the paintwork looks amazing already just after a rinse. The key to getting these type of results is using good techniques with good products. It makes these maintenance washes a breeze. Alright, let's get this foam cannon on and get after it. Alright, we're ready to go now. Alright, so the idea with this foam cannon is to put a nice thick layer of foam on starts breaking down the dirt, giving it a few minutes to let it settle and some of that dirt will roll down the side. It's also going to help provide some lubricants with our wash process. And you know what? It's really fun to put on too. So just as a reference point, I used a couple ounces of product, I've been spraying it like crazy, and I'm only a third of the way through the foam cannon bottle. Play around with the amount of soap that you're putting in your bottle. It'll really make a difference with how much lather. There's just a point to where it doesn't really help much and you just waste product. But you know what? Sometimes it's worth it. Alright, so we're done playing around with the foam cannon. Let's take that off. We'll put our 40 degree tip back on. It's always wise to shoot it away from the car a couple times to make sure that that tip is fully engaged. It would really be a bad deal if that tip come flying off and took a big chunk out of our paint. Alright, while we let the foam set on the paint, let's grab that soft bristle detail brush and hit all those tight spots around the emblems cracks and crevices, headlights. This is how you prevent all the dirt buildup that just tends to live around those emblems because the wash mitt just can't get down in there. Now it's time to actually wash the car with the wash mitt. Let's talk about a few things before we get started. We're going to start the wash process in what I like to call Zone 1. Generally speaking, this has the lowest contamination level. This is a great spot to start, the least chance of damaging the paint. So after we finish Zone 1, we'll make our way down to Zone 2. Zone 2 does generally have a medium contamination level. Alright, now finally down to Zone 3, the highest contamination level. This is where dirt, road grime, contaminants are slinging up off the tires. We really want to do this last, and we really want to be gentle down here. So on the Tesla Model 3, Zone 1 is about 80% glass, which makes this job real easy. No chance of scratching the glass. So we can go ahead and just wash away up here. After I complete a small section, I'll go ahead and flip the wash mitt. This will give me a nice clean side before I hit the next section of paint. Based on how dirty your vehicle is, you may have to flip your mitt more often and you may find yourself dipping it into the rinse and wash bucket more often as well. It's time to rinse off that mitt. Let's go ahead and grind it into the rinse bucket. Make sure we get all that grit off. Wring it out. Once we're confident that every bit of dirt is off that mitt, now we'll put the clean mitt into the wash bucket, soap it up, and get back at it again. Now we'll make our way down the side of the vehicle into zone 2. Be sure and flip your mitt between sections.
After each section, head to the rinse bucket, get that mitt cleaned up, re-soap it, and keep working on the vehicle. Proper technique when using a wash mitt is to barely apply pressure down on the paint. Just in case we do accidentally pick up some dirt, we don't scratch the crap out of the side of the car. So make sure you're flipping your mitt, heading to the rinse bucket, grinding it on that grit guard, making sure it's super clean, re-soaking it in the wash bucket, and getting after it over and over again. That's how we'll keep this car looking great for many years to come. So now that we got a good thorough wash and we're super happy, all the dirt's gone, we're going to do a nice post-wash rinse. We want to make sure we get all the product off the car so that when we dry it, it's nice and clean and looking beautiful. Now that we're finished with the rinsing, it's time to dry the car. With the Tesla, we'll just have it drive itself straight back into the garage. How cool is that? Alright, so that's all there is to washing and rinsing your vehicle. And I'll tell you what, it's not hard at all, and anybody can do it. If you have any comments or want to see future videos like this, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell so you can see them as they come out. Our next video is going to be how to properly dry the vehicle and put a layer of protection on it so that next time it's super easy to clean. So thanks for coming by. Again, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, go ahead and put them down below. Otherwise, We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> yeah.